What is up guys, this is Jared Spawning here. And today I'm gonna to be talking about how certified coins you know, just because a coin certified I should be saying doesn't always mean that you know that it's gonna be real. So let me just jump right into this here for you. And my first example is holders like these. It's a nineteen eighty four S Roosevelt. 10 cent cameo PR70 so not PF and yeah, not MS but PR70 different uh, grading scale but you can see this coin was that's what it was graded as but look at the IN, INB International Numismatic Bureau and I don't know how authentic, authentic they are you know most people will tell you to only buy from PCGS or NGC, which is good advice because if this were in a PCGS holder, it would be worth you know 50 bucks as opposed to being worth like maybe 10 bucks like it is in this holder. So definitely bad investment on my part. Of course, I was young and foolish at the time, so you can hear it's even loose in there. I don't know if you can hear that or not, but literally loose in this holder. That's completely terrible uh, another example here for you is this but this is an ICG again another example of someone that's not exactly the most you know notable company here but again you know I mean I'm pretty sure it's Decently genuine, you know, it looks genuine, but you never could tell. And yeah, you know, this was something that my dad gave me, so <clears throat> not something I bought myself. This unfortunately was, but anyway, if you're gonna be buying anything, you want to be buying from these two companies right here NGC and PCGS, two no most notable companies. While you can save money buying from there. You don't know if it's authentic or not, and it's also going to be worth less, you know. You have to break it out of the holder and send it to somewhere else, and it's a big hassle. But, even if you have an NCG, NCG, oh my god, yeah, NCG, no, NGC, or PCGS coin holder, it still doesn't even guarantee that it's authentic. I know it's very tough to believe that. Most people are going to probably argue with me and be like, no, there's, there's no way you could fake a coin if certified, but there is still one problem that these coins would have. And that's simply, and while this took a, will take a lot of work, but it is simply when possible for, for uh, someone to, let's say, take the, uh, let's say, I don't know, I'm trying to think of a good example of a coin someone might buy, let's say, the PCGS certified uh, 1909 SVDB wheat penny, okay? And it's worth, let's say in the condition it's in, it's worth $1,100, all right? So you make these purchases, it's a pretty big purchase, by the way. But, and then, you know, it's certified, it has its serial number, and you're like, you, you know, you're like, you know what, one day you're just like, you know what, let me look up the serial number. You look it up on the website, and then it brings you to the coin, only you notice it doesn't look exactly the same as yours. Well, that's, there's a pretty simple reason for that. Somebody, what they've done is, they cracked open the holder, taking your coin out that you should've been getting, and replaced it with a fake one. One that, you know, and you'll probably be able to tell if you compare it to a picture that it's not exactly the same because making it identical would be very tough and very costly. So it's gonna be similar, probably, you know, same grade, it would probably get the same grade if it were authentic. But they basically put a fake coin in your holder. Now usually this is the case, PCGS graders don't pretty much ever uh, make the mistake of putting a, a fake coin and giving it a real grade. I don't think, they, pr they pretty much never do that. It's more common for someone to have broken open your know, case, put in this fake coin that looks similar enough, you'll notice it when you look up the serial number. And that's not to say, you know, most coins are like that because a lot of work, but you can make a lot of money. I mean, they can buy these coins, resell the coin, maybe lose $200 reselling it, but then sell this fake uh, certified one for what they bought the other one for, and they'll make, you know, on this, they'll be making $900.
paying 1100 for, you know, and selling it, both coins for two grand. Now, a fake coin might cost a little bit to make. Like, let's say it costs $100 to make this fake coin. They're still making $800. And if you were to do this 50 times, I mean, that's going to be some pretty good money right there. You're talking about 40 grand, you know. 40 grand a year on top of, let's say, a regular job. Most people aren't going to be complaining. So, yeah, definitely something you want to watch out for. I hope you enjoy the third installment of Silver Stacking Myths. But, yeah. Certified does not always mean authentic. And that's it for this one. Peace, love, and much respect.